played by James Bay is played in standard tuning with no capo. We're going to start the song on an F sharp minor chord. It's an E minor shaped bar at the second fret of the low E string. I'm going to strum down, down, down. One, two, and three. Little break, and then we're going to do exactly the same again. Okay, so. And then down. Whole thing down, 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 down. Then we're going to go to a B7 chord. Got the first finger bar from the A string of the second fret down, third finger, fourth fret of the D string, pinky finger, fourth fret of the B string. I'm going to play exactly the same rhythm as we did for the F sharp minor chord. Then we're going to go to this beautiful E major 7 chord. I've actually got the pinky finger on the 7th fret the A. We're not playing the D string. It's muted with the first finger here, which is barring the 4th fret of the G, B and high E strings. Tricky chord to play this. If you can't play this, you can play a standard E major 7 chord check there. So with the actual E major 7 chord voice in here that James is using, we're going to change the rhythm very slightly. We're going to strum down, down, down with the rest. Down, down, down. And then we're just going to rest for the rest of the bar there. So... And we're going to play exactly the same again. Okay, so the whole intro here played slowly. We have F sharp minor. Went to the B7 chord. To that E major 7 chord voice in. So throughout the rest of the song we're going to use a very repetitive chord progression. It's actually pretty much the same, it's the F sharp minor chord going to the B7, then to that lovely E major 7 chord voice in, and then we will go to a standard C sharp minor bar chord, so first finger bar across the 4th fret, 6th fret on the D, 6th fret on the G, 5th fret on the B. The second time through that chord progression is the same, it's F sharp minor to B7, to that lovely E major 7 chord voice in, we're just going to finish it slightly differently this time with an A bar chord. You'll see James Bay playing with the thumb tucked up the top, like this. So it's a first finger bar at the fifth fret, seven for the A, seven for the D, six fret on the G, and the first finger bar for the other string. So we'd have the F sharp minor, B7, E major seven, going to the C sharp minor, and through again, F sharp minor, B7, E major seven, going to the A chord. For the rhythm, sometimes it's played the same as the intro with the A lot of the time in the song it's just played in constant eighth notes. So one, two, three, four, five. So with the constant eighth notes, you'd have the F sharp minor, B7, E major seven, C sharp minor, back through again with the F sharp minor, B7, E major seven. simple but beautiful second guitar part played here on the 14th fret bar on the G, B and high E string, single strum down, and that ring for two bars. We're going to add the third finger to the 16th fret of the B, single strum down let that ring for two bars, move the whole shape up to 16 on the G, B and high E string, let that ring for two bars, then we've got 18 on the G, 17 on the B, 16 on the high E, strum that and let it for ring for one and a half bars. On the three and the four of the second bar, we're gonna add the pinky finger to the 19th fret of the high E string, and strum up twice. So we have the 14th fret bar, third finger added, 16th fret bar, 18, 17, 16, and up strum, the pinky finger added. For more James Bay tutorials, please check out this link here. Thanks for watching this one, happy practicing, and take care.